of everyone about trying to keep motivated through the winter. As he says, I'm in triathlon a long game now. And when your race season is over and that big euphoric race that you trained for um, and waited for for so long, in this case of a year or two years, is over, you not only contemplate triathlon, but you nearly contemplate life and what's the point. Um, when you have a big race booked and you're heading towards it, everything's to focus on it. You're in work, you're thinking about the race. You're training, you're thinking about the race. Before you go to bed, you're thinking about the race. When you wake up in the morning, you're thinking about the race and how you're going to plan your day on to benefit that race. And then when all of a sudden that race is over, as he said, what's the point in everything? What's the point in training? What's the point in setting up your session for that evening? Going to the pool to swim? You have no target. So in my case and in my experience, having that next race booked is key. So with all the deferrals going into 2022, most of us have races. If you don't, I suggest start looking at races and booking them. And that will give you your next goal to really keep yourself motivated. Through the winter, it's so important to train with groups. Whether you have a club swim session, a club run, or whether you can meet up on weekends for someone on a Sunday morning, Saturday morning, whether it's a bike or a run, that gives you the accountability to turn up. Whether you're on my plan or not, them dark mornings, the cold weather, the wet mornings, some people have the motivation to get up and get done, but every excuse in the world is there for you to start missing sessions because your race isn't booked or because your race is the next year in the calendar year. That as well takes its toll when your year is in the calendar year for next year. So you're thinking, right, I'm not racing until 2022. You don't think that it's only seven, eight, nine, ten months away. You always just fall into the mindset of it's next year. I can take the foot off the gas this year and I'll get started again in January. I guarantee you that if you have a big race that you're waiting on, and it will be in triathlon, is in 2022, you're already looking at 2022 as something that your 2021 is training that you can take your foot off the gas. Again, when your race comes up, whether it's Waterville, whether it's Marbella, whether it's Cork, whether it's Wales, whether it's Barcelona, the first thing will pop into your head of Jesus I didn't train hard enough in 2022 or I missed four weeks, I missed five weeks, I missed six weeks. The way the mind works, it works on the negative. So you'll never see all the good work you've done from when you motivated yourself and you got cracking. You'll only think about, oh Jesus, it's three weeks until this race and all, all you're thinking about is the four or five or six weeks that you took the foot off the gas right now. So it's important to be consistent right now with your training. They don't have to be PBs. They don't have to be the best training sessions in the world. But they just have to be consistent. From November to December is the two hard months to keep going. It doesn't have to be two and three sessions a day. You can just swim one day, bike the next, run the next after that, and so on for the rest of the week. It's just about building consistency, and that will keep you motivated. Right now, that'll keep you motivated to keep on going. But think of your future self in 2022, when you start getting serious about the training. You're going to say, Jesus, you know what? I had a great base built up in November, December. I had my best ever training in November and December. And it doesn't have to be the quality of training. It just has to be the sessions completed. Again, if you need a rest day midweek and you need a rest day Saturday or Sunday, that's fine. You just put that into your plan. You let me know about it, but you be consistent. You hit them sessions, whether it's your swim, your bike, or your run. And it, you want to come out of the winter block and going into January and February when we already know we're going to be motivated because it's the January new me, new fucking goals, new race booked, and you're already in that calendar year and you're starting counting down the months until that race because you're already looking at January, February, March, April, May, June, July, wherever that main race is. No one ever says November, December, January, February. They always write off these two months. But it's up to you right now what way you want to go feeling into January, thinking, right, I had the best winter training I've ever had and a great base build or fuck, I haven't done that on six or eight weeks and it's like starting again and already you're going into 2022 in a negative mindset. So I'd love feedback on this video of you all and let's get the motivational levels high starting from today and not waiting until January 1st. Cheers.